This one says, don't do this. This one says, don't do that. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, a very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? I'm about to tell you what ticks me off. First of all, let me just mention that I'm in a hotel room, so I will have to scream into a pillow out of respect for the other people who are staying here. You see, folks, that's how I was raised, to respect others, unlike others who don't give a shit about others. So anyway, an airport manager recognizes me and knows my work and says, hey, you want to see something fun? Maybe you can do something with this. So he walks me out to the tarmac and shows me a cockpit of a real plane that's just sitting there for whatever reason. It has no plane attached to it. It's just a cockpit. So I'm thinking to myself, let me do a quick video of me in the cockpit pretending like I had to fly the plane because the pilots didn't show up. Then at the end, I'll pan the camera around to show there is no rest of the plane and I'll joke and say something like, I made it even though the rest of the plane didn't. Like, I'm such a bad pilot that I pretty much destroyed the plane. You see, that's false. That's fucking false! I can't fly a plane. No one can fly a plane with only a cockpit. No airline would let me fly the plane if the pilots didn't show up. Get it? Get it? So what happens? Here we go. I start getting a few, not a lot, but a few comments and private messages. Did you just make fun of Kobe Bryant? Or it's too soon to do a video like that. Or I was a fan and now I'm not. Or I'm blocking you. Now, hold the fuck on for just one second. I did not mention Kobe Bryant. I did not mention a crash. I did not mention anything about that horrible situation that happened a week ago. I was in a cockpit of an old airplane. I wasn't in a helicopter. I didn't make fun of anything but myself. So now what? Don't you people who get offended over nothing understand that the world of entertainment and comedy and farts does not revolve around your needs? This one says don't curse so much. This one says don't dress up like an Indian. This one says stop yelling all the time. This one says don't do this. This one says don't do that. This one says can't do that. You know what I say? I say shut the fuck up, God damn it. A couple of years ago, there was a terrible limousine crash that killed a bunch of people. Two weeks later, I'm riding in a limo with my family and my manager, and we decide to do some funny videos in the limo on the way to the Borgata in Atlantic City. We didn't do anything about death or crashes. We did some stupid, silly videos that were funny because we were in a limo, because we were riding in a fucking limo. And as soon as the videos were posted, here we go again. It's too soon. How can you do a video in a limo? What happened two weeks ago? What the fuck are you talking about, you fucking morons? If we can't do videos in places where people have died, then there are no places left to do videos in. So what are the fucking rules, you fucking geniuses who have to tell everybody what the rules are? What are the rules? How long do you wait? Is it one week, two days, 36 days, and 14 hours? What are the fucking rules? What words can I say? Who can I pretend to be? What location am I allowed to make a video in? God rest Kobe Bryant, Gigi Bryant, and the other seven passenger souls. God rest the souls of the people who died in the limousine crash a couple of years ago. God rest everyone's souls who died in some way in the history of the world. I guess every single TV show, every single movie, and anything else that has a flying machine and it needs to not be aired until you few mutants decide what the fucking rules are for doing anything about anything after a sad event happens around the world. And the point is, I wasn't doing anything about anything particular. I was just making a short, silly video. 
You know what ticks me off? What I just explained ticks me off. Thank you to my fans who get farce and comedy and innocent silly videos. Fuck you to the mutants who assholes are tighter than a fucking mosquito and who think they run the world. That's what fucking ticks me off. Go fuck yourself.